Good morning everybody. Welcome to day three of summer. This is Sandy with Sandy's Adventures and I wanted to come out and survey and see what all the storm that we had last night might have done to our um, crops and the plants that we have laying around. It kicked up, the wind kicked up pretty good. Um, you can see a, maybe a black plastic pot down there that was up here on the porch. Um, the chicken coop looks pretty good. So let me, let's get to this tour. All right, so the wind did take down some trees um, close by, um, but it looks like so far up here near the house, it looks like everything has weathered good. Well, the squash plant got pushed over a little bit, but it'll right itself up. And pepper plant, I sprayed that with some neem oil and uh, it's looking better so whatever was eating on the leaves is gone now. That squash is coming back out there. It had gotten eaten. A little, few little flowers. The dragon tongue beans, they are blooming. So this is the biggest plant and a few others. Now the tops did get eaten out of here and it's time to weed it looks like. So I've got to get in there. Ginger looks good. Let's look here. So I have stevia that I have yet to be planted. My peonies. No problem there. And more ginger coming up there. So flowers. So when I was coming up these stairs last night, these were blown really good. So it does look like they survived. Um, the small, well, these tomato cages, again, will not be what the permanent home. They are going to get staked. And in here, chamomile is growing a little bit. Some flowers, oregano. So the strawberries here on this bank, I don't know if I showed them to you before, but I had some leftover strawberries from my order this year, and it looks like we have one strawberry right there, and these are honey eye, and um, let's see here, sorry. This one down here got turned over a little bit, but it is running. And these are Ozark Beauties. But a few died in here. But they're doing really good. So let me walk around to the garden. So right after rain, here's the strawberry bed. It's one of the best times to do a little bit of weeding. And I had gotten in here yesterday, pulled out some. I do need to get in there and, again, uh, trim up that rhubarb, harvest some of it. But things look pretty good in here. I do have some leaf spot on my strawberry plants, so I will be spraying them with some neem oil. I think I'm getting the slugs under control. I put out slug bait. Uh, but I probably will have to apply that again but definitely have to get in here and weed some more so the tomato plants right most of them are just in the trellises little cages so they look all good except for this one over here I do have to write it and put a stake in there was um, waiting on this putting the stakes because I wanted to get up I've got a um, camera up on the wall there uh, that I um, want to get the batteries out of and charge them up for the winter, I mean for the summer. Alright, the volunteer corn, is, corn stalk is doing great. Now I just planted these tomatoes. Now a couple of these two right here are German tomatoes. So it's like a green striped tomato. And then I have five pineapple tomatoes, which are like yellow stripy 
tomatoes. But it looks like the rain did was very kind to them. The wind did blow the covering that I had shake cloth off of them from yesterday, so I have to clean these up. And um, no worse for wear. Oh, that one on the end there, I do need to pick it up. Blew this on top of the tomato. So when I have two hands, I'll come back and remove the cages. It's only going to get um, 86 today up here. So they should be established enough. Well, they didn't need the shade anymore. And there is Blooms on the cucumber. So this is growing up, and I'm going to have to add on to this trellis. Now this squash here did turn over a little bit, but that's all right. But all in all, look he here. Looks pretty good. All right, so yesterday, whoops, this ground is kind of uh, um, slimy, but Yesterday, the you know, forecast showed the storm coming through, so I came in and put tomato stakes down and then put bamboo up on each side uh, just to give it a little bit more security because the last time we lost um, one of the corn stalks due to the wind and it snapped off so it wasn't salvageable. Looks like this okra right here got a little wind damage, but everything else looks pretty good. Hopefully I don't fall in here. <laughs> I'm walking real slow. Right, and there's some cucumbers are blooming. And then that one over there is blooming too. So the creek did not flood last night. We have uh, cabbage and the potatoes doing good. Now along, mm. all right. So along here are tomatoes again. But yesterday, when I came, my little job yesterday was I planted forty hills of of. Um, bush beans, uh, tender greens. So that'll come up. So I put them about uh, on the very edge of this row behind the tomatoes. So about a foot, foot and a half from the tomato plants. And I do plan to put up a divider so the tomatoes will have something to be tied up to. Oh, that looks good. And then need to get in there and see if we have any more peas. On this uh, garden, I know y'all miss me. It was uh, such a long time, but uh, I worked in here about half an hour and uh, did some weeding. Got some creeping Charlie and some of the violets out of this side. Um, now I know I didn't get them all. Uh, and I did leave a few maple trees in there that are growing. The black walnut trees I've left in here, so I'll dig them up at another time. But harvested some of the rhubarb and got this taken out. We still having a problem with slugs. I was, um, when I was harvesting the rhubarb, there are slugs on there, so I'm going to have to put some slug bait back out in here. But. This is what I got um, done this morning. Now I'm going to have to call it quits here pretty soon because my uh, work starts and I don't get off until 7 o'clock in the evening-ish. <laughs> so I won't be able to come back out until after that. Got some rhubarb I've got to clean up over there. Um, take everything to the compost. Now for the rhubarb, real quick, when you harvest it you want to pull off and snap it off at the bottom. Um, kind of away from the stalk, but unfortunately I was not able to 
do that with these so I do have to watch out for disease getting in to the stalks uh, from my cuttings uh, so hopefully I can get them finished getting them thinned out and um, I won't have that problem in the future I just let it go too long this summer and um, so here is the rhubarb there and now I did save uh, well while I was gone um, my dad saved some of the strawberries and put them in the freezer so I'm gonna make some strawberry rhubarb jam I believe this evening and I will take you along for that ride too daddy came out this morning and helped me he's um, been been working hard he's put up uh, some tomato steaks here for these three plants and tied them up so they won't um, hopefully fall over in the future. We do have another storm coming on Sunday uh, that uh, could be detrimental to them if they're not tied up to something more sturdier than these smaller stakes. Another thing I wanted to mention is down here in the garden, uh, the rainstorm really did well with these peas and they're surviving this the hotter than hot temperature so far pretty good i mean we've had heat indexes up into the 110 up here uh, but we have new flowers on them so this is good and there's some pods in here that um, they have pods already but they're not quite filled out yet but i just wanted to show you that that it is in West Virginia, it's in the um, today will be in the 80s, but the peas are coming on strong. But you can tell that they've kind of turned over the little string trellis and are up on the onions. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me in the garden this morning. I really appreciate y'all watching, liking, and subscribing. Um, I know it's been a while and I hope to keep uh, regular updates uh, for you to show you what all I've been doing and trying to get prepped for the winter. Uh, so this is just part of it. So I hope you uh, stay with me for the ride and we'll talk to you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.